Thermal conductivity, often denoted K, lambda, or kappa, is the property of a material to conduct heat. It is evaluated primarily in terms of Fourier's law for heat conduction. In general, thermal conductivity is a tensor property, expressing the anisotropy of the property. Heat transfer occurs at a lower rate in materials of low thermal conductivity than in materials of high thermal conductivity. Correspondingly, materials of high thermal conductivity are widely used in heat sink applications and materials of low thermal conductivity are used as thermal insulation. The thermal conductivity of a material may depend on temperature. The reciprocal of thermal conductivity is called thermal resistivity. The general equation for thermal conductivity is Q equals minus K T display style VEC Q equals K VEC nabla T where Q display style VEC Q is the heat flux K display style K is the thermal conductivity and T display style VEC nabla T is the temperature gradient units of thermal conductivity In the International System of Units SI thermal conductivity is measured in watts per meter kelvin with mk Some papers report in watts per centimeter kelvin with cmk in imperial units, thermal conductivity is measured in BTU, hour feet degree F. The dimension of thermal conductivity is m1 l1 t minus 3 theta minus 1, expressed in terms of the dimensions mass m, length l, time t, and temperature theta. Other units which are closely related to the thermal conductivity are in common use in the construction and textile industries. The construction industry makes use of units such as the R value resistance and the U value transmittance. Although related to the thermal conductivity of a material used in an insulation product, R and U values are dependent on the thickness of the product. Likewise, the textile industry has several units including the TOG and the CLO which express thermal resistance of a material in a way analogous to the R values used in the construction industry. Measurement there are a number of ways to measure thermal conductivity. Each of these is suitable for a limited range of materials, depending on the thermal properties and the medium temperature. There is a distinction between steady state and transient techniques. In general, steady state techniques are useful when the temperature of the material does not change with time. This makes the signal analysis straightforward. Steady state implies constant signals. The disadvantage is that a well-engineered experimental setup is usually needed. The divided bar various types, is the most common device used for consolidated rock solids. Experimental values Thermal conductivity is important in material science, research, electronics, building insulation and related fields, especially where high operating temperatures are achieved. Several materials are shown in the list of thermal conductivities. These should be considered approximate due to the uncertainties related to material definitions. High energy generation rates within electronics or turbines require the use of materials with high thermal conductivity such as copper, see copper in heat exchangers, aluminium, and silver. On the other hand, materials with low thermal conductance, such as polystyrene foam and fire brick, are used in building construction or in furnaces in an effort to slow the flow of heat, i.e. for insulation purposes. Definitions The reciprocal of thermal conductivity is thermal resistivity, usually expressed in Kelvin meters per watt KMW for a given thickness of a material, that particular sample's thermal resistance and the reciprocal property, thermal conductance, can be calculated. Unfortunately, there are differing definitions for these terms. Thermal conductivity, K, often depends on temperature. Therefore, the definitions listed below make sense when the thermal conductivity is temperature independent. 
Otherwise a representative mean value has to be considered. For more, see the equations section below. Conductance For general scientific use, thermal conductance is the quantity of heat that passes in unit time through a plate of particular area and thickness when its opposite faces differ in temperature by 1 Kelvin. For a plate of thermal conductivity K, area A and thickness L, the conductance calculated is kilo ampere per liter, measured in W K minus 1, equivalent to W per degree Celsius. ASTM C 168-15, however, defines thermal conductance as time rate of steady state heat flow through a unit area of a material or construction induced by a unit temperature difference between the body surfaces and defines the units as width m2k btu h feet 2 degree f the thermal conductance of that particular construction is the inverse of the thermal resistance thermal conductivity and conductance are analogous to electrical conductivity a m minus 1 b minus 1 and electrical conductance a v minus 1 there is also a measure known as heat transfer coefficient, the quantity of heat that passes in unit time through a unit area of a plate of particular thickness when its opposite faces differ in temperature by 1 Kelvin. The reciprocal is thermal insulence. In summary, thermal conductance Kilo ampere per liter, measured in WK-1 or in ASTM C168-15 as with M2K thermal resistance. L Ka, measured in KW-1, equivalent to degree C W. Heat transfer coefficient. K L, measured in WK-1 M-2 thermal insulence. L, K, measured in K M2 W1, the heat transfer coefficient is also known as thermal admittance in the sense that the material may be seen as admitting heat to flow. Resistance Thermal resistance is the ability of a material to resist the flow of heat. Thermal resistance is the reciprocal of thermal conductance, i.e., lowering its value will raise the heat conduction and vice versa. When thermal resistances occur in series, they are additive. Thus, when heat flows consecutively through two components each with a resistance of 3 degrees Celsius, W, the total resistance is 3 degrees Celsius, W plus 3 degrees Celsius, W equals 6 degrees Celsius, W. A common engineering design problem involves the selection of an appropriate sized heat sink for a given heat source. Working in units of thermal resistance greatly simplifies the design calculation. The following formula can be used to estimate the performance R H S equals delta T P T H Minus R S display style R underscore H S equals frac delta T P underscore T H R underscore S, where R H S is the maximum thermal resistance of the heat sink to ambient in degree C W equivalent to K W. Delta T is the required temperature difference, temperature drop in degree C. PTH is the thermal power, heat flow in watts. Rs is the thermal resistance of the heat source in degree C. WFOR example, if a component produces 100 W of heat and has a thermal resistance of 0.5 degrees Celsius W, what is the maximum thermal resistance of the heat sink? Suppose the maximum temperature is 125 degrees Celsius and the ambient temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, then delta T is 100 degrees Celsius. The heat sink's thermal resistance to ambient must then be 0.5 degrees Celsius W or less. Total resistance component and heat sink is then 1.0 degrees Celsius W. Transmittance 
A third term, thermal transmittance, quantifies the thermal conductance of a structure along with heat transfer due to convection and radiation. It is measured in the same units as thermal conductance and is sometimes known as the composite thermal conductance. The term U value is often used. Admittance the thermal admittance of a material, such as a building fabric, is a measure of the ability of a material to transfer heat in the presence of a temperature difference on opposite sides of the material. Thermal admittance is measured in the same units as a heat transfer coefficient, power, watts per unit area, square meters per temperature change kelvins. Thermal admittance of a building fabric affects a building's thermal response to variation in outside temperature. Conversion from specific to absolute units, and vice versa. Specific thermal conductivity is a material property used to compare the heat transferability of different materials to each other. Absolute thermal conductivity, however, is a component property used to compare the heat transferability of different components to each other. Components, as opposed to materials, take into account size and shape, including basic properties such as thickness and area, instead of just material type. In this way, thermal transferability of components of the same physical dimensions, but made of different materials, may be compared and contrasted, are components of the same material, but with different physical dimensions, may be compared and contrasted. In component data sheets and tables, since actual physical components with distinct physical dimensions and characteristics are under consideration, thermal resistance is frequently given in absolute units of K W display style K W or C W Display style caret circ C W. Since the two are equivalent, however, thermal conductivity, which is its reciprocal, is frequently given in specific units of W K M. Display style with K C D O T M. It is therefore oftentimes necessary to convert between absolute and specific units, by also taking a component's physical dimensions into consideration, in order to correlate the two using information provided, or to convert tabulated values of material thermal conductivity into absolute thermal resistance values for use in thermal resistance calculations. This is particularly useful, for example, when calculating the maximum power a component can dissipate as heat, as demonstrated in the example calculation here. Thermal conductivity lambda is defined as ability of material to transmit heat and it is measured in watts per square meter of surface area for a temperature gradient of 1 K per unit thickness of 1 meter. Therefore, specific thermal conductivity is calculated as lambda equals P A delta T T equals P T A delta T Display style lambda equals frac p a c d o t delta t t equals frac p c d o t t a c d o t delta t, where lambda display style lambda equals specific thermal conductivity with k m p display style p equals power w a display style a area m2 1 square meter during measurement t display style t thickness m 1 meter during measurement delta 
T Display style delta T Temperature difference K or degree C 1 K during measurement Absolute thermal conductivity, on the other hand, has units of W K display style with K or W C display style with carrot circ C and can be expressed as lambda a equals P delta T display style lambda underscore a equals frac P delta T where lambda and display style lambda underscore a equals absolute thermal conductivity with K or W per degree Celsius. Substituting lambda a display style lambda underscore a for p delta t display style frac p delta t into the first equation yields the equation which converts from absolute thermal conductivity to specific thermal conductivity lambda equals lambda a t a display style lambda equals frac lambda underscore a c d o t t a Solving for lambda a display style lambda underscore a, we get the equation which converts from specific thermal conductivity to absolute thermal conductivity. Lambda a equals lambda a. T display style lambda underscore a equals frac lambda c d o t a t again since thermal conductivity and resistivity are reciprocals of each other it follows that the equation to convert specific thermal conductivity to absolute thermal resistance is r theta equals one lambda a equals T lambda a display style R underscore theta equals frac one lambda underscore a equals frac T lambda C D O T A where R theta display style R underscore theta equals absolute thermal resistance K W or degree C W. Example calculation: The thermal conductivity of T global L thirty seven three F thermal conductive pad is given as one point four with M K. Looking at the data sheet and assuming a thickness of 0.3 mm meters, and a surface area large enough to cover the back of a to 220 package, approximately 14.33 mm by 9.96 mm, 0.01433 meters by 0.00996 meters, the absolute thermal resistance of this size and type of thermal pad is R theta equals 1 lambda a 
equals T Lambda I equals zero point zero 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 three one point four zero point zero one four three three zero point zero zero nine nine six equals one point five K W Display style R underscore theta equals FRAC one lambda underscore a equals FRAC T lambda C D O T A equals FRAC zero point zero 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 three one point four C D O T zero point zero one four three three C D O T zero point zero zero nine nine six equals one point five K W this value fits within the normal values for thermal resistance between a device case and a heat sink. The contact between the device case and heat sink may have a thermal resistance of between 0.5 up to 1.7 Cw, depending on the case size, and use of grease or insulating mica washer. Influencing factors Temperature the effect of temperature on thermal conductivity is different for metals and nonmetals. In metals, heat conductivity is primarily due to free electrons. Following the weidmann franz law, thermal conductivity of metals is approximately proportional to the absolute temperature, in kelvins, times electrical conductivity. In pure metals the electrical conductivity decreases with increasing temperature and thus the product of the two, the thermal conductivity, stays approximately constant. However, as temperatures approach absolute zero, the thermal conductivity decreases sharply. In alloys the change in electrical conductivity is usually smaller and thus thermal conductivity increases with temperature, often proportionally to temperature. Many pure metals have a peak thermal conductivity between 2K and 10K. On the other hand, heat conductivity in nonmetals is mainly due to lattice vibrations phonons. Except for high-quality crystals at low temperatures, the phonon mean free path is not reduced significantly at higher temperatures. Thus, the thermal conductivity of nonmetals is approximately constant at high temperatures. At low temperatures well below the Debye temperature, thermal conductivity decreases, as does the heat capacity, due to carrier scattering from defects at very low temperatures. Chemical phase when a material undergoes a phase change from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas the thermal conductivity may change. An example of this would be the change in thermal conductivity that occurs when ice thermal conductivity of 2.18 with Mk at 0 degrees Celsius melts to form liquid water thermal conductivity of 0.56 with Mk at 0 degrees Celsius. Thermal anisotropy some substances, such as non-cubic crystals, can exhibit different thermal conductivities along different crystal axes, due to differences in phonon coupling along a given crystal axis. Sapphire is a notable example of variable thermal conductivity based on orientation and temperature, with 35 width MK along the C axis and 32 width MK along the A axis, wood generally conducts better along the grain than across it. Other examples of materials where the thermal conductivity varies with direction are metals that have undergone heavy cold pressing, laminated materials, cables, the materials used for the Space Shuttle Thermal Protection System, and fiber-reinforced composite structures. When anisotropy is present, the direction of heat flow may not be exactly the same as the direction of the thermal gradient. Electrical conductivity in metals, thermal conductivity approximately tracks electrical conductivity according to the Weidmann Franz law, as freely moving valence electrons transfer not only electric current but also heat energy. However, the general correlation between electrical and thermal conductance does not hold for other materials, due to the increased importance of phonon carriers for heat in non metals. Highly electrically conductive silver is less thermally conductive than diamond, which is an electrical insulator, but due to its orderly array of atoms it is conductive of heat via phonons. Magnetic field 
The influence of magnetic fields on thermal conductivity is known as the thermal Hall effect or Rigi Leduc effect. Gaseous phases Air and other gases are generally good insulators, in the absence of convection. Therefore, many insulating materials function simply by having a large number of gas filled pockets which obstruct heat conduction pathways. Examples of these include expanded and extruded polystyrene, popularly referred to as styrofoam, and silica aerogel, as well as warm clothes. Natural, biological insulators such as fur and feathers achieve similar effects by trapping air in pores, pockets, or voids, thus dramatically inhibiting convection of air or water near an animal's skin. Light gases, such as hydrogen and helium, typically have high thermal conductivity. Dense gases such as xenon and dichlorodifluoromethane have low thermal conductivity. An exception, sulfur hexafluoride, a dense gas, has a relatively high thermal conductivity due to its high heat capacity. Argon and krypton, gases denser than air, are often used in insulated glazing, double-paned windows, to improve their insulation characteristics. The thermal conductivity through bulk materials in porous or granular form is governed by the type of gas in the gaseous phase, and its pressure. At lower pressures, the thermal conductivity of a gaseous phase is reduced, with this behavior governed by the Knudsen number, defined as K N equals L D Display style K underscore N equals L D where L display style L is the mean free path of gas molecules and D display style D is the typical gap size of the space filled by the gas in a granular material D display style D corresponds to the characteristic size of the gaseous phase in the pores or intergranular spaces. Isotopic purity Isotopically pure diamond can have a significantly higher thermal conductivity, increasing from 2200 Wm1 K1 for pure natural diamond, 98.9% 12C, to 3320, for 99.9% .9 enriched, possibly 41,000, with 200,000 predicted for 99.999% 12C. Physical origins at the atomic level, there are no simple, correct expressions for thermal conductivity. Atomically, the thermal conductivity of a system is determined by how atoms composing the system interact. There are two different approaches for calculating the thermal conductivity of a system. The first approach employs the green cubo relations. Although this employs analytic expressions, which, in principle, can be solved, calculating the thermal conductivity of a dense fluid or solid using this relation requires the use of molecular dynamics computer simulation. The second approach is based on the relaxation time approach. Due to the anharmonicity within the crystal potential, the phonons in the system are known to scatter. There are three main mechanisms for scattering boundary scattering, a phonon hitting the boundary of a system mass defect scattering, a phonon hitting an impurity within the system and scattering phonon-phonon scattering, a phonon breaking into two lower energy phonons or a phonon colliding with another phonon and merging into one higher energy phonon. Lattice waves Heat transport in both amorphous and crystalline dielectric solids is by way of elastic vibrations of the lattice phonons. This transport mode is limited by the elastic scattering of acoustic phonons at lattice defects. These predictions were confirmed by the experiments of Chong and Jones on commercial glasses and glass ceramics, where the mean free paths were limited by internal boundary scattering. To length scales of 10-2 cm to 10-3 cm, the phonon mean free path has been associated directly with the effective relaxation length for processes without directional correlation. If Vg is the group velocity of a phonon wave packet, then the relaxation length 
L display style L is defined as L equals B G T display style L equals B underscore text G T where T is the characteristic relaxation time. Since longitudinal waves have a much greater phase velocity than transverse waves, V long is much greater than V trans, and the relaxation length or mean free path of longitudinal phonons will be much greater. Thus, thermal conductivity will be largely determined by the speed of longitudinal phonons. Regarding the dependence of wave velocity on wavelength or frequency dispersion, low frequency phonons of long wavelength will be limited in relaxation length by elastic Rayleigh scattering. This type of light scattering from small particles is proportional to the fourth power of the frequency. For higher frequencies, the power of the frequency will decrease until at highest frequencies scattering is almost frequency independent. Similar arguments were subsequently generalized to many glass forming substances using Brillouin scattering. Phonons in the acoustical branch dominate the phonon heat conduction as they have greater energy dispersion and therefore a greater distribution of phonon velocities. Additional optical modes could also be caused by the presence of internal structure, i.e., charge or mass, at a lattice point. It is implied that the group velocity of these modes is low and therefore their contribution to the lattice thermal conductivity λ. Kappa display style kappa L is small. Each phonon mode can be split into one longitudinal and two transverse polarization branches. By extrapolating the phenomenology of lattice points to the unit cells, it is seen that the total number of degrees of freedom is 3 pq when p is the number of primitive cells with q atoms unit cell. From these only 3p are associated with the acoustic modes, the remaining 3p Q are accommodated through the optical branches. This implies that structures with larger p and q contain a greater number of optical modes and a reduced λ. From these ideas, it can be concluded that increasing crystal complexity, which is described by a complexity factor Cf defined as the number of atoms, primitive unit cell, decreases λ. Micheline Rufus and P. G. Clements derived the exact proportionality in their article Thermal Conductivity of Complex Dielectric Crystals at Phys. Rev. B. 7, 5379-5386 This was done by assuming that the relaxation time tau decreases with increasing number of atoms in the unit cell and then scaling the parameters of the expression for thermal conductivity in high temperatures accordingly. Describing of anharmonic effects is complicated because exact treatment as in the harmonic case is not possible and phonons are no longer exact eigensolutions to the equations of motion. Even if the state of motion of the crystal could be described with a plane wave at a particular time, its accuracy would deteriorate progressively with time. Time development would have to be described by introducing a spectrum of other phonons, which is known as the phonon decay. The two most important enharmonic effects are the thermal expansion and the phonon thermal conductivity. Only when the phonon number n deviates from the equilibrium value n0, can a thermal current arise as stated in the following expression Q x equals 1 v q j omega n minus n 0 v x Display style q underscore x equals frac 1 v sum underscore q j h s slash omega left left langle n right wrangle left langle n right wrangle caret 0 right v underscore x text, where v is the energy transport velocity of phonons. Only two mechanisms exist that can cause time variation of n in a particular region. The number of phonons that diffuse into the region from neighboring regions differs from those that diffuse out, or phonons decay inside the same region into other phonons. A special form of the Boltzmann equation d 
N D T equals N T diff plus N T decay Display style FRAC D left Langle N right Wrangle D T equals left FRAC partial left Langle N right Wrangle partial T right underscore text diff plus left FRAC partial left Langle N right Wrangle partial T right underscore text decay states this. When steady state conditions are assumed the total time derivative of phonon number is zero, because the temperature is constant in time and therefore the phonon number stays also constant. Time variation due to phonon decay is described with a relaxation time tau approximation n t decay equals minus N minus N zero tau display style left frac partial left Langle N right wrangle partial T right underscore text decay equals text frac left Langle N right wrangle left Langle N right wrangle carrot zero tau which states that the more the phonon number deviates from its equilibrium value, the more its time variation increases. At steady state conditions and local thermal equilibrium are assumed we get the following equation n t diff equals minus b x N zero T T X Display style left FRAC partial left N right partial T right underscore text diff equals B underscore X FRAC partial left N right carrot zero partial T FRAC partial T partial X text Using the relaxation time approximation for the Boltzmann equation and assuming steady state conditions, the phonon thermal conductivity lambda L can be determined. The temperature dependence for lambda L originates from the variety of processes, whose significance for lambda L depends on the temperature range of interest. Mean free path is one factor that determines the temperature dependence for lambda L, as stated in the following equation. Lambda L equals one three V Q J V Q J Lambda Q J T E Omega Q J T Display style lambda underscore L equals FRAC one three volts sum underscore Q J V left Q J right lambda left Q J right FRAC partial partial T epsilon left omega left Q J right T right where lambda is the mean free path for phonon and t e display style frac partial partial t epsilon denotes the heat capacity this equation is a result of combining the four previous equations with each other and knowing that vx2 equals 13v2 display style left langle v underscore x caret 2 right wrangle equals frac 13v caret 2 for cubic or isotropic systems and lambda equals v tau display style lambda equals v tau at low temperatures 
At higher temperatures, 10 K omega 1 equals omega 2 plus omega 3 display style H S slash omega underscore 1 equals H S slash omega underscore 2 plus H S slash omega underscore 3 and quasi momentum Q1 equals Q2 plus Q3 plus G display style math BF Q underscore 1 equals math BF Q underscore 2 plus math BF Q underscore 3 plus math BF G where Q1 is wave vector of the incident phonon and Q2, Q3 are wave vectors of the resultant phonons, may also involve a reciprocal lattice vector G complicating the energy transport process. These processes can also reverse the direction of energy transport. Therefore, these processes are also known as umclap U processes and can only occur when phonons with sufficiently large Q vectors are excited, because unless the sum of Q2 and Q3 points outside of the Brillouin zone the momentum is conserved and the process is normal scattering end process. The probability of a phonon to have energy E is given by the Boltzmann distribution P E minus E K T display style P propto E caret E K T to U process to occur the decaying phonon to have a wave vector Q1 that is roughly half of the diameter of the Brillouin zone, because otherwise quasi-momentum would not be conserved. Therefore, these phonons have to possess energy of K theta 2 display style sim K theta 2 which is a significant fraction of Debye energy that is needed to generate new phonons. The probability for this is proportional to E minus theta B T display style E caret theta B T with B equals 2 display style b equals 2 temperature dependence of the mean free path has an exponential form e theta b t display style e caret theta b t the presence of the reciprocal lattice wave vector implies a net phonon backscattering and a resistance to phonon and thermal transport resulting finite lambda L, as it means that momentum is not conserved. Only momentum non-conserving processes can cause thermal resistance. At high temperatures t greater than theta, the mean free path and therefore lambda L has a temperature dependence t minus one, to which one arrives from formula e theta b t display style e caret theta b t by making the following approximation e x x x one display style e caret x propto x text text left x right and writing x equals theta b t display style x equals theta b t. This dependency is known as Eukin's law and originates from the temperature dependency of the probability for the U process to occur. Thermal conductivity is usually described by the Boltzmann equation with the relaxation time approximation in which phonon scattering is a limiting factor. Another approach is to use analytic models or molecular dynamics or Monte Carlo based methods to describe thermal conductivity in solids. Short wavelength phonons are strongly scattered by impurity atoms if an alloyed phase is present, but mid and long wavelength phonons are less affected. Mid and long wavelength phonons carry significant fraction of heat, so to further reduce lattice thermal conductivity one has to introduce structures to scatter these phonons. This is achieved by introducing interface scattering mechanism, which requires structures whose characteristic length is longer than that of impurity atom. Some possible ways to realize these interfaces are nanocomposites and embedded nanoparticles, structures. Electronic thermal conductivity hot electrons from higher energy states carry more thermal energy than cold electrons, while electrical conductivity is rather insensitive to the energy distribution of carriers because the amount of charge that electrons carry, does not depend on their energy. This is a physical reason for the greater sensitivity of electronic thermal conductivity to energy dependence of density of states and relaxation time, respectively. Mayen and Sofo, PNAS 1996-93-15-7436-7439, showed that materials with a certain electron structure have reduced electron thermal conductivity. 
Based on their analysis one can demonstrate that if the electron density of states in the material is close to the delta function, the electronic thermal conductivity drops to zero. By taking the following equation lambda e equals lambda 0 minus t sigma s 2 Display style lambda underscore e equals lambda underscore zero t sigma s caret two, where lambda zero is the electronic thermal conductivity when the electrochemical potential gradient inside the sample is zero, as a starting point. As next step, the transport coefficients are written as following: sigma equals sigma. Zero I zero display style sigma equals sigma underscore zero I underscore zero sigma S equals K E sigma zero I one display style sigma s equals left frac k e right sigma underscore zero i underscore one lambda zero equals k e two sigma Zero T I two display style lambda underscore zero equals left frac k e right caret two sigma underscore zero T I underscore two where sigma zero equals E two a zero display style sigma underscore zero equals e caret two left h s slash a underscore zero right and a zero the Bohr radius. The dimensionless integrals in are defined as i n equals infinity minus infinity e x e x plus 1 2 s x X N D X Display style I underscore N equals underset in A T overset in A T int FRAC E carrot X left E carrot X plus one right carrot two S left X right X carrot N D X Where S X is the dimensionless transport distribution function. The integrals in are the moments of the function p x equals d x s x d x equals e X E X plus one two 
display style p left x right equals d left x right s left x right text d left x right equals frac e caret x left e caret x plus one right caret two, where x is the energy of carriers. By substituting the previous formulas for the transport coefficient to the equation for lambda e, we get the following equation. Lambda e equals k e two sigma zero t i two minus i one two I zero Display style lambda underscore mathem E equals left FRAC K E right carrot two sigma underscore zero T left I underscore two FRAC I underscore one carrot two I underscore zero right from the previous equation we see that lambda e to be zero the bracketed term containing in terms have to be zero. Now if we assume that s x equals f x delta x minus v Display style s left x right equals f left x right delta left x b right, where delta is the Dirac delta function. In terms, get the following expressions: i zero equals d b f b. Display style i underscore zero equals d left b right f left b right i one equals d b f b b Display style i underscore one equals d left b right f left b right b i two equals d b f b b two Display style i underscore two equals d left b right f left b right b caret two. By substituting these expressions to the equation for lambda e, we see that it goes to zero. Therefore, p x has to be delta function. Equations. In an isotropic medium the thermal conductivity is the parameter K in the Fourier expression for the heat flux Q equals minus K T Display style VEC Q equals K VEC Nabla T where Q Display style VEC Q is the heat flux, amount of heat flowing per second and per unit area, and T display style VEC nabla T the temperature gradient. The sign in the expression is chosen so that always K greater than zero as heat always flows from a high temperature to a low temperature. This is a direct consequence of the second law of thermodynamics. In the one-dimensional case Q equals H, A with H the amount of heat flowing per second through a surface with area A and the temperature gradient is dt, dx so 
H equals minus K A D T D X Display style H equals Ka FRAC Mathem D T Mathem D X In case of a thermally insulated bar except at the ends in the steady state H is constant. If A is constant as well the expression can be integrated with the result H L equals a T L T H K T D T Display style H L equals A int underscore T underscore text L carrot T underscore text H K T Mathem D T where th and tl are the temperatures at the hot end and the cold end respectively, and l is the length of the bar. It is convenient to introduce the thermal conductivity integral i k t equals 0 t k t D T Display style I underscore K T equals int underscore zero carrot T K T carrot prime mathem D T carrot prime. The heat flow rate is then given by H equals A L I K T H minus I K T L Display style H equals FRAC A L I underscore K T underscore text H I underscore K T underscore text L if the temperature difference is small k can be taken as constant. In that case h equals k a t h minus t l l Display style H equals Ka FRAC T underscore text H T underscore text L L Simple kinetic picture In this section we will motivate an expression for the thermal conductivity in terms of microscopic parameters. Consider a gas of particles of negligible volume governed hard core interactions and within a vertical temperature gradient. The upper side is hot and the lower side cold. There is a downward energy flow because the gas atoms, going down, have a higher energy than the atoms going up. The net flow of energy per second is the heat flow H, which is proportional to the number of particles that cross the area A per second. In fact, H should also be proportional to the particle density N, the mean particle velocity V, the amount of energy transported per particle so with the heat capacity per particle C and some characteristic temperature difference delta T. So far, in our model, H N V C A delta T display style h propto n v c a delta t 
The unit of h is j s and of the right hand side it is particle per cubic meter times meter per second times j k times particle times m2 times k equals j s so this is already of the right dimension only a numerical factor is missing for delta t we take the temperature difference of the gas between two collisions delta t equals L D T D Z display style delta T equals L frac dt dz where L is the mean free path Detailed kinetic calculations show that the numerical factor is minus one third, so all in all, H equals minus one three N B C L A D T D Z Display style H equals FRAC one three N V C L A FRAC D T D Z Comparison with the one dimension expression for the heat flow given above gives an expression for the factor K K equals 1 3 n v c l display style k equals frac 1 3 n v c l the particle density and the heat capacity per particle can be combined as the heat capacity per unit volume so K equals one three V L C V V M Display style k equals frac 1 3 v l frac c underscore v v underscore m, where c v is the molar heat capacity at constant volume and v m the molar volume. More rigorously, the mean free path of a molecule in a gas is given by l 1 n Sigma display style l propto frac one n sigma, where sigma is the collision cross section. So k c sigma v display style k propto frac c sigma v. The heat capacity per particle C and the cross section σ both are temperature independent, so the temperature dependence of K is determined by the T dependence of E. For a monatomic gas, with atomic mass m, V is given by V equals 3 R T M. Display style V equals SQRT FRAC three RT M so K T M Display style K Propto SQRT FRAC T M This expression also shows why gases with a low mass hydrogen, helium have a high thermal conductivity. For metals at low temperatures the heat is carried mainly by the free electrons. In this case the mean velocity is the Fermi velocity which is temperature independent. 
The mean free path is determined by the impurities and the crystal imperfections which are temperature independent as well. So the only temperature dependent quantity is the heat capacity C, which, in this case, is proportional to T so K equals K zero T metal at low temperature display style K equals K underscore zero T text metal at low temperature with K zero a constant for pure metals such as copper, silver, etc. L is large, so the thermal conductivity is high. At higher temperatures the mean free path is limited by the phonons, so the thermal conductivity tends to decrease with temperature. In alloys the density of the impurities is very high, so L and, consequently K, are small. Therefore, alloys, such as stainless steel, can be used for thermal insulation. See also references notes references further reading Collister, William 2003. Appendix B. Materials Science and Engineering, in Introduction. John Wiley and Sons. p. 757. ISBN 0-471-22471-5. Halliday, David, Resnick, Robert, and Walker, Jural, 1997. Fundamentals of Physics, 5th ed. John Wiley and Sons, New York ISBN 0-471-10558-9. Srivastava G. P. 1990, the Physics of Phonons. Adam Hilger, IOP Publishing Limited, Bristol. TM 5-852-6, AFR 88-19, Volume 6, Army Corp of Engineers Publication, Reed, C. R., Prausnitz, J. M., Poling B. E., Properties of Gases and Liquids, IV Edition, McGraw-Hill, 1987 R. Jobin, R. Das, A. Ahmed, P. Ruzbajavan, B. Minay, Thermal Properties of Carbon Fiber, Epoxy Composites with Different Fabric Weaves, in, Sampa International Symposium Proceedings, Charleston, South Carolina, 2012 External Links Thermopedia Thermal Conductivity Contribution of Interionic Forces to the Thermal Conductivity of Dilute Electrolyte Solutions The Journal of Chemical Physics 41, 3900 124, 1964, the importance of soil thermal conductivity for power companies Thermal conductivity of gas mixtures in chemical equilibrium. 2 The Journal of Chemical Physics 32, 1005 1960.